like uh, he's that he was not very uh, well versed with PBCs and PBA. So uh, that prompted me to you know uh, maybe maybe there are more people who also uh, would like to uh, uh, learn more. Let's say so. A little bit of a background in the sense, uh, you see, uh, uh, everyone has have noticed till now that uh, the the breakouts are uh, very brutal uh, currently in the market. So and it's not that the breakouts are not working. Uh, there are, but they are they are working far and few in between, right? Uh, there will be a couple of them which will uh, break out, and uh, and they're very selective, like uh, so. They're very selective, and uh, and when that happens, then uh, if eight out of ten breakouts are uh, fading, then probabilistically, if you are trading breakouts uh, only, uh, you will uh, not do very good. And so, I can understand if someone is only trading breakouts, uh, the the way to go about would be uh, to trade them and uh, hold it for longer with a deeper stop loss. So because eventually, because the market direction is still on the up, eventually those things will move. Um, uh, uh, but that can be very frustrating at times, you know, because uh, you still want your account to move uh, or definitely not uh, lose much uh, trading uh, breakouts and getting chopped. So the other alternative uh, to trading breakout uh, is uh, trading pullbacks and these are mostly the only two uh, sort of setups I teach and I, I trade as well right and <clears throat> so there are yes. two yes yes Mangesh ji uh, let me just finish this so there are two kind of uh, pull uh, pullback trading one is uh, PBC pullback confirmation and one is PBA PBA is where the confirmation is not yet in so where we anticipate that abhi aega, abhi aega. now it is gonna come right so I will show you a couple of uh, names which I have been trading yesterday, today, whenever, whenever. Uh, plus also uh, then take some questions. Uh, uh, so Mangesh ji, huh, let's begin. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so thank you, first of all. Um, uh, I think you rightly pointed out the crux that I, the, the issue that I am facing. I, for all, I have been uh, like, uh, good at, uh, uh, you know, for breakout trades. Right. And I have an eye or, uh, for spotting such trades, but in the last one month or so, that has not been working. Like from the 10 trades I have taken, it have not worked. Mm -hmm. uh, simple fact, uh, yeah, I've been trading breakouts. And even though I have tried some pullback uh, confirmations, I have still got my hands there. Because to be honest, I am not good at that, and that's why I have approached you. Uh, let's let's this just like for for uh, a context I can take um, one example that I recently did uh, is our favorite GMI GMR Pui. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, uh, I do not uh, like uh, it's not that I do not uh, take uh, five percent stocks. It's it's fine with me. So uh, three days ago around tenth of September, the, if you see that there was a price uh, contraction. Yeah. Yes. And um, obviously, uh, our con uh, consideration saying that okay, the uh, the mass is also about zero. This should work, right? So I took an entry there. Uh, my stop loss might be wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, my stop loss was uh, uh, low of the one day before, like on on night for the night, mm -hmm. and I got it. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, exactly, that's what the maybe one. So the first problem would be uh, uh, not correctly identifying stocks. Although my universe is the RS hundred that uh, we publish every week, mm -hmm. um, and maybe again I think uh, my stop loss uh, was wrong. Mm -hmm. So these these are the few issues that I've been facing. Like when so what what exactly is it? Um, that we are looking for when we are looking for uh, pullback confirmation, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, so that we can develop an eye for that kind of setups and focus on the others. Yeah, so this is very good question, right? So, see, first of all, uh, whenever we are trading pullbacks, uh, the there is a because because we still haven't seen the the price move up. There is some level of. Uh, 
uh, there is some level of you know uh, you have to that trust that the the stock is strong enough that after such and such days of pullback to such and such place could be most of the time right now we are uh, uh, trading pullbacks to key moving averages but other times it could be something else as well like let's say super trend or let's say previous uh, a previous uh, low hai na? or, or a, a trend line and I'll show examples of all of that so there is some sort of uh, a belief that abhi yahan se ye aayega, hai na? so in pullback most of the time you have to be uh, you have to hunt for it more and you know wait patiently for the setup to occur so in gmr pu pui this day was a pbc entry this day okay and uh, okay. Uh, because uh, pbc entry may pbc the, the difference between pbc and pva so for example this would be a, a pullback to the 10ma now why 10ma is good uh, maybe 1021 because you know previously also uh, sort of around 10 to 21 generally is uh, the uh, the uh, moving average which generally everyone follows so that's why uh, when everyone follows something then that that thing probably will work better so so if you had entered on this day uh, that would have been pullback anticipation so you're anticipating that this uh, will bounce back so on this day there was no uh, 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 confirmation trade because confirmation would be uh, above the previous day high so is uh, the next day in here so whenever that uh, thing uh, <coughs> whenever price you know broke out of uh, that which is on this candle so 1055 wala candle so I, i'm using the 25 minute time frame <coughs> and this and this so that would have been the entry so so the thing is if you are using a, a pullback uh, confirmation or anticipation entry the why are we using that we are using that because those kind of entries will give us very small stop loss so in general uh, rather than putting the previous uh, day ka low stop loss which would be really wide um, so let's say which would be like you know five six percent you would you would be better off having very stop, small stop loss because that because the edge in the strategy is if i am right i will if i am right i will uh, even for from a very small uh, uh, bounce let's say a 6% bounce which doesn't even go to the previous high i would still make more than 2r at least you know that is that is the edge we are playing so we are playing for small moves with small stop losses okay Okay, so uh, sorry, but yeah, but uh, so what we are saying is that uh, one uh, recommendation is to go on a smaller time frame, yes, and then use the beneficial RR for getting a perfect. Entry. Yes, yes. So in this case, you you could have used the day low or the the swing low, at at best, because you know two to three percent kind of stop loss. Okay, so. So, for example, uh, I will uh, I will decide discuss couple of my own uh, uh, pullback trades which I have done very recently. Okay, so uh, and some of them worked, some of them did not work. So, for example, uh, POCL is a is a uh, is an entry which I took on this day, and uh, this is a PBA entry. Now, why PBA? Why choose this one? Right? <coughs> See, whenever we are. Uh, 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 when, whenever we are trading pullbacks, always choose very strong stocks. Very strong stocks will give you more belief that these guys are already strong. So if you compare something which is already strong versus which is not strong, so, so the probability of bouncing will be higher in which one? In the one which is already strong, correct? So POCL at that point of time was like one of the top 10 RS names. So that is that was the idea behind Ki Acha. It is now pulling to 10. It is very nicely at 10. And every time it hit the 10, most of the time it did bounce. Okay. So that would have been the uh, idea behind it. Now, if you were to do a PBC entry on this, so PBC entry would have been when it is exactly, you know, breaking out of that. And if you got this entry, your stop loss should be not more than. Uh, so if you had gotten this entry, uh, or maybe here, yes. So if you've gotten this entry, then you can use the the stop loss as you know the low of the the pullback. I mean the low of the the breakout candle. So not more than sort of three percent, four percent kind of a stop loss. Okay. So this is a little uh, thoda purana trade. Hai. I'll show you uh, some of the names uh, which I traded uh, more recently. So. 
Prakash, if I may, uh, can you discuss SMS Pharma? That was a dope trade that you took. Right? Yes. So, yeah. so SMS Pharma was uh, probably a, a PBA entry. Okay. So, so currently I actually forgot also which day uh, I took it. Uh, so maybe on this day I took it. I'll quickly check. So SMS Pharma was added on Monday. Okay. So you see, on Monday there was there was still no PBC trade. Okay. So this is uh, this is Friday's chart. Uh, and then this is a Monday's chart. So Monday, uh, the PBC entry would have been uh, the breakout of the previous day. Okay. So so here, if you see the chart, so first of all, some of the reasons why I chose this, this was not in top 10, but this was in top 100 list for sure. And so every time, every time SMS Pharma has hit the 1021 uh, web, it has bounced. So right now it was like sort of 1021. And it did try to break out here, but again, from the previous low, it sort of uh, gave gave a bounce. So I was sort of certain. So this is where that kind of certainty comes. I mean, certainty is the is the wrong word. It's like some sort of vishwas belief that this will bounce. Now, aaj ya kal ya parso, hai na? Um, uh, so so all so all you wanna do is hunt for an entry and have a small stop loss. Okay. So if I go to like a 25 minute time frame. Uh, Possibly the entry was uh, okay. This is already Tuesday. So, so here, you know, like when this sort of bounce was happening, here somewhere here was the entry, uh, and this was anticipating that okay, uh, this guy is now very near to the 1021 MA, and also. Whenever I am on 25 minute time frame intraday, I have only one moving average. And you know what that is? That moving average is of 75 SMA. So 75 SMA in 25 minute gives me the 5 DMA, daily ka 5 SMA. So, so whenever something also hovers around 5 SMA and 5 SMA is acting as a support, uh, which in my 25 minute time frame is actually the uh, 75 minute. I'll quickly show you that as well. So you see <coughs> moving averages. On intraday, I only have 75 SMA. So 75 SMA is actually uh, uh, daily 5 SMA. So whenever it's also sort of bouncing and uh, and and getting support of that, uh, that sort of gives me <coughs> hope uh, that you know this guy is uh, probably finding a support here. And uh, so so if you enter here, then you know the the kind of stop loss would be very small. So I would have probably had like a two percent kind of a stop loss here. And then uh, uh, next day you uh, see, acha acha, aega aega, and then one fine day the things uh, uh, came. So you see, like there is uh, there is some sort of belief that things think this will work, this will work, you know, because it is at a low risk point. So uh, and also of course uh, see the other characteristics like uh, uh, volume. Volume was almost nil. Like if you see volume on on that day uh, on on Monday. Like Friday was like very, very less and Monday even less. So whenever there is huge volume contraction, the, the, the bounce will come uh, more, more, more or less it will come. And if it doesn't come, then you take a very small stop loss. So generally, currently my position size per uh, a stock is generally 10%. So imagine 10% if I take position and my stop loss is just 2%. What is the, the risk on my PF? The risk on my PF is extremely low, which is 0.2%. Right, so 0.2% per this one is really good. And again, remember one thing, always whenever you are taking PVCs because you are taking swing trades, whenever if you get like 2 or 3 R, you de-risk because right now the environment is such that SMS Pharma tomorrow can come back. So that is why I actually de-risked yesterday some. So yesterday I sold uh, like 50% of that here. And today again, I uh, traded some sort of reversal. Again, uh, SMS Pharma is so strong that the 10 might catch up and then another pullback trend, uh, uh, pullback uh, trade will happen here. Okay, so that was one pullback trade. Now I'll show you some more. So in Goldium, I have been trying to do pullback trades for like, so today was my fourth try. Uh, the third one was uh, barely profitable. First two was small, small loss. So 0 0.2, 0 0.2%. Okay, so again, here I will show you See, why, why I am trying Goldium? There is, there is only a couple of uh, reasons here. First thing is Goldium is very strong. It is still one of the probably top 10 charts. So if you see Goldium in today's uh, uh, Homma, 
uh, sorry the top 10 uh, m swing it is still like top 20 you know gold is here so gold is still strong and the uh, the sector is also still strong so always remember i am not uh, uh, trying pba pbcs in uh, uh, stocks with whose m swing is like uh, one less than one two uh, no i am doing it in, in stocks which are like extremely strong so now if you go to uh, uh, 25 minutes i'll show you uh, possibly all of the trades which I took here okay so you see here this is very very extremely uh, uh, important you my my SMA here is the 75 SMA uh, which is basically the 5 DMA now every time it is hitting the 5 DMA it is actually bouncing okay and which is basically saying that the stock is very strong and these are also contractions. so we had like contraction 1 contraction 2 contraction 3 contraction 4 and so Okay, uh, so first time I tried here, and that was basically uh, trying to catch the uh, 2T uh, VCP breakout. Okay, so if you see uh, Goldium here, Goldium looks like a perfect breakout uh, wala setup. Uh, Mangesh ji, do you agree with me? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agree. So, uh, so, so, yeah, so, th so that's where I tried to, you know, like uh, trade this possibly 350 some level on Monday, and then. Uh, again, very tight stop loss because currently uh, I am at a I'm I am um, I'm operating on, uh, 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 on the lines of like don't give it back, right? So this sort of uh, moved well, but again I should have de-risked some. Uh, I should have de-risked some. But right now the environments are such that five percent mila matlab nikal jao. Like at least you know like uh, so that's how uh, I am operating right now. A and then uh, that day uh, it hit my stop here. Uh, somewhere like uh, very near but I didn't I am not losing much uh, like it's almost 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 uh, percent of my uh, PF so then then next day I think again it is setting up so every time it it comes to this one the the five day moving average it's again bouncing so next I again tried it here um, like you know this this breakout this breakout I again tried again Uzdin B like it gave me some some move like two percent kind of a move and then uh, again it clipped me later uh, so but after clipping again it found uh, support at uh, the, the the 5 dma and uh, what happened today uh, i'll show you is uh, i was i got very interested here uh, during during this this time okay during this time because here it was very evident that if you see uh, the relative strength also forget the volume for now so if you see the relative strength also the relative strength is uh, f uh, refusing to go below zero and every time it is uh, coming to uh, zero it is like sort of bouncing so i had a i had a gtt uh, by uh, around this level 349 or probably here and this is also again looks like a breakout but in a in a higher time frame i am also anticipating that okay now probably after 3t 4t it is eventually going to break out and uh, this is actually a very nice uh, vcp now the thing is uh, I had a 20% position here because because I my stuff my 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 thing is very clear. I want to de-risk. So if I put only 10%, then I cannot de-risk because if I uh, after a very small move. So for example, today uh, I sold uh, sorry. So for example, today I sold some here like 1.7 or 2% kind of a move, uh, and then why I sold that is because I want to de-risk. Okay, so. Uh, once I sold half somewhere here, uh, uh, I could use a, a stop loss, which is, you know, a yo -yo. Uh, so one could then use a stop loss, which is like around, again, very, very tight. My stop loss right now is very tight. Okay. Just, just around here. Uh, and so with a, with a, uh, with a stop loss of 1.5% on a, on a position of 10% PF, if this guy moves five to six percent, that's it. That's what I'm looking for right now. Like five percent move with a 1.5 percent stop loss is still more than three R. And you know? um, so that is what I'm doing right now uh, because that long big ass moves are far and few uh, currently. Um, so this is Goldium, um, and at some point of time, this is probably going to break out. For sure at that time i am already you know i will not buy it here i will not buy it here okay i will not buy it here because that already i mean this is still very uh, near to the breakout zone uh, but buying breakouts people are like selling people uh, people are selling at the breakout level so another name uh, which i got today 
was um, uh, Keynes. So, so if you see what's happening at the previous high, uh, there is supply coming in. Okay. So, although this was not in the uh, uh, Nifty uh, the top hundred list, you can see uh, the price volume action here. Okay. Um, a really nice price volume action if you see every time it is coming to the 1021 it is sort of like uh, clipping them and, and going up clipping them and going up clipping them and going up so again here also very similar to uh, very similar to the sms pharma uh, sort of this one uh, although the the pullback was a little deeper but still so then what you have to see is the last how what is the action uh, in the last couple of days so you always see for tightness so what happens is if you see tightness then your risk management will become very easy so if for example if you manage to uh, enter very near to this then your uh, effectively your stop loss is like you know three three point eight percent or so you know? uh, so so that was the uh, reason behind uh, also uh, today what but happened question, uh, sorry, sorry huh? one question here sorry uh, i am again interrupting so uh, if you see in the cane technologies, uh, first question, uh, how did you uh, did this come to your screener if it is, hmm. was not a part of? Hmm. And second is uh, if you see uh, if you see there is a highest year of the volume like bar uh, and the price has not moved much in here not before this yes yes so how do how do we interpret this because yes if, if exactly can, my bias would be that uh, okay this is a, a high volume at the top so yes. So this is this is what people. I mean, this is. See, uh, I'll tell you what. If this volume had come here, okay. If this volume had come here, this would mean that that HVY was full of supply bar. Although this is also true. Ki yahan pe bhi supply hai, isle price did not move. But the but the positioning of the HVY bar here versus here is completely different. Here it is coming after an up move, which means that abhi ye uh, girega. Whereas here. The positioning is not at the top. It is actually at the bottom of the pullback. Understood. Right? So that means even though to the naked eye it looks like it's a HVY and price didn't move up, but I would still I would still read it as that okay, it's not jada HVY. After like this this you know there is a bounce from four five five one it uh, uh, closed here and then next day this HVY actually moved the price from here to here three percent so so your reading here would be slightly incorrect okay and after that yeah, after that then uh, the price uh, uh, was very nicely getting tighter around the key ma and today how it came to my uh, this one is what i also do every day is i look for strong starts okay um so i've always been doing these are, I mean, I'm always trying to, you know, uh, uh, devise things which are now working, you know, rather than like sticking uh, to uh, doing one thing. So what I do, once you get that list, you put it here. I have like a, a day trading list and then you go one by one on daily. I see, okay, Kanye was like looking like that and uh, things were uh, great. And after that, I put AVWAP on the open. And uh, yeah, so then i traded this breakout here premier poly similarly <coughs> i i traded the uh, uh uh i mean i did not trade this because uh, starting me here i did not trade it because uh, this guy did not allow me to uh, 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 do a margin you know on intraday but after this huge up move this was very lucrative so then i got got in here so anyways so going back to kanye so Kanye was a, a PBC sort of an entry today, although it was a little late, uh, but the bias was created by the volumes. Okay, the volumes is always good if it comes in the early uh, early part of the day. So that was uh, uh, this trade. Uh, I have a couple of more uh, trades also to discuss. Uh, before we move on, again, sorry, <laughs> one person here. So in a strong start, what is your benchmark for a... Uh, uh, strong like uh, strong uh, volume uh, huh. so if uh, the see? if the so if the first uh, five minutes volume is uh, is uh, at least 10 percent of the 20 day moving average volume uh, that is good enough okay I'll, I'll share the the list i mean i'll share the scanner okay okay thank you so 
so that is one another trade um, so for example at the end of the day i took gravita okay so gravita was also something which i have been trying to get in why precisely because all of the reasons i've mentioned gravita is one of the strongest uh, stock also coming from one of the strongest sector so i entered uh, gravita on this day uh, this was a pbc trade okay on wednesday i think 28th august this was a p uh, no 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 on this day i traded so this is a pbc trade um the moment it uh, crossed this uh my uh, trading view alerts went off again i don't uh, watch uh, all of these names like in multiple uh, i i put uh, every morning i put like uh, fresh uh, this one uh, alarm so the moment i was actually talking to one of the hp members and then uh, literally this went off and then i took a minute out and then got in here so so the 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 uh, the galti i did was i could not uh, sell some here it had already given me like 8% move i was in guwahati that day and after that uh, very soon it uh, got my stop loss here uh, lost like a very small again like very risk uh, this one so after that i probably again tried to uh, get in here this was again chopped out so today what happened if you see in a 25 minute time frame so currently this is this is a very nice again base okay so if you see uh, this this is uh, let's say t1 uh, this is also t1 because contractions are very similar but you see uh, now uh, the 5 dma is uh, getting sort of straight and then there is there are contractions here okay contractions and you can also see that the relative strength is not uh, uh, trying to go before now actual breakout entry kab milega aapko the actual breakout entry will be when the relative strength will break out from this clear resistance and the price will also sort of break out from this clear resistance now that breakout sort of it is touch and go today so uh, so would you say let's go to 75 minute time frame because uh, thoda choppy ho ja raha hai so if you see here again this is the same chart only so so you have a very clear resistance down trending resistance here and three very tight uh, candles okay so a more peak entry would have been here like uh, 2316 ke upar uh but at the end of the day i basically entered here now this is this will go into sort of anticipation entry still you know one can also say breakout but i would still say this is an anticipation and uh, limit uh, of like uh, 1% so uh, but but then because because my stops are so tight uh the trade statistics will only make sense if i you know uh if i if i sell some or make sure that if i get a 6% kind of a move i don't give it back so that's the slight difference uh, i am making right now and so gravita in my opinion would have been or could have been a good trade today as a as a sort of a pbc slash pba now there are some other names also i have been like looking constantly okay so if you see sundaram finance this one this one was a trade i probably took on this day uh monday yes monday so this one was a trade i took here and this was a pba trade now why pba why anticipating i am anticipating that sundaram finance will move from here okay so because currently it is at a stage uh, it is uh, sitting on 10 dma and generally it is it has sort of uh, been above 10 dma it has served the 10 dma okay it's also one of the stock of the top 100 list and it's also come from a come from a sector which is currently showing very good strength anything that has finance is moving plus anything that has holding Uh, any holding company is also moving so there are two kind of tailwinds here plus theek hai thoda number number dekh liya to theek theek thak laga hai na and that's why the bias now a uh, very good uh, pba entry would be simply buying above this okay uh, so but i would like to have some more uh, thoda thoda kam uh, like even even better risk reward okay so so for me now if i see that that this is a base which is like a ascending channel sorry ascending triangle base so you can see that there is one and there is second possibly third word aayega um so i think i entered somewhere here um uh, and uh, i got clipped uh, at cost and uh, i'm not sure if i am in here or not i probably i am in here today and so if i if if you are going to uh, buy this then you will have a very strong small stop loss so you can either use minus uh, 1.76 or you can use minus 2.6 or if you like okay thoda sa zyada hi isko jagah de denge to 4% is kind of the stop loss you want to uh, you want to use and if you see the uh, 
uh, if you see the Mars also, it is sort of you know, getting slightly stronger and stronger. And of course, don't uh, forget volume. So volumes has to be like uh, whenever whenever it is uh, languishing at the uh, bottom of the pullback, you always make sure that volumes are also very thin, regular, and you know uh, decreasing. So. So that is why I think uh, Sundaram Finance is a very good name. And there are so many other names also. Um, uh, if we go through the list, for example, today. Um, so, so Kitex, any of these days entry would have been a PB, PBA entry. PBC entry would have been the moment it, the moment it breaks out of this would have been PBA entry. Okay. So, so first, first step is to recognize the setup. And that is not the only thing. The, the second thing is to then develop, a, uh, develop an awareness and develop a system to actually be there when the uh, thing comes, right? So for me, that, that is using alerts and also uh, having only four or five names where I can you know, constantly toggle and see. So for example, today's name were these, okay? These were the names I was constantly watching, constantly toggling. So I am always, always looking at uh, 500 and Nifty 50, whatever it is doing. And JM Financial was one name where I was very interested to make a uh, uh, entry. You know, uh, uh, this was actually yesterday. So when it, when this breakout happened, that was I was very interested. But after that, it did not. So I uh, did Premier in Energy is something which I am uh, 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 trading from here, and so I have a position here. Uh, so that is uh, also being watched. Uh, Sundaram holding so this is you see uh, this is uh, what I am uh, watching today Goldium also I was watching so SMS Pharma I, I actually traded this uh, reversal from here to here so successfully I uh, couldn't sell exactly here I got stopped hit again these are like very very uh, these are very thin stocks first of all uh, again my position sizes are also small and uh, uh, stops are tight so SMS Pharma currently would you say this is a good uh, thing to uh, do an anticipation trade? I think yes. You know, you can see that in 25 minute time frame, the uh, the Mars has not lost its charm. So it is still up. And the moment it sort of uh, uh, takes out its moving averages here, and if you also see that at that point of time, there is some breakout in some tight area, that is a very good way to anticipate or one can also say that's a PBC entry. So. Uh, so that's what I do. Uh, I have less number of stocks which I like and then I put it in this list and this list will go away uh, today. So some of the names which I am very interested will again come here and if I am no longer interested then they'll go. So I have five, six names there, uh, uh, encode them and wait for them to sort of set up, uh, have stops, have alerts. Uh, and so, so that is basically what I do. So let's quickly go through this list, couple of them to and where I will share my thoughts, okay, these, these are some of the good sort of entries. Okay. Uh, we will we'll not comment on the past ones. Abhi wala kya chal raha hai, to usme batayenge zyada. To pond dioxide ye PBA ke liya bhi badiya lag raha hai. But the thing is again 5% stop ho gaya, right? I mean, sorry, not 5%, the circuit is 5%. To yaha pe circuit change hua 5%. Dekho 10% tak phir bhi uh, one can trade. Abhi 5% bana diya to din mein matlab 5% zyada move nahi hoga. So if you have 3% then you maximum 2% chahiye. So I don't want that like right now. So I at least want to uh, get into stocks which are at least 10% moving. So Balu Forge uh, in my opinion right now, right now, right now to, uh, there is no entry. But let's say if there is now 2, 1 inside bar here tomorrow. Now that will become an, uh, uh, that will become something which will excite me. Because Balu Forge mein, the uh, circuit limit has now uh, move, uh, move, uh, uh, moved to 20. That means, just then a breakout aega, there is a high possibility that 10 to 20 percent kind of a move can come. Hai na? So I will I will watch Balu Forge very closely. So possibly there is already a uh, uh, pe ek wo hai, uh, alarm hai. Hai na? So currently I am not interested, but my 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 mind is open that there could be an entry here very soon, and that could come tomorrow. Uh, uh, or, or 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 very soon so uh, again uh, I don't like to uh, act on stocks which are far from 10 MA that's just one bias I have but TBZ breakout but I'm just not very comfortable uh, uh, stocks which are already very high just a nectar life probably yesterday was a breakout many people entered but I'm just not very comfortable uh, not to say that they are not very strong Okay, but I would more be comfortable things like here, SCPC. Um, so, huh, so Radhi, Radhika Jewel Tech again 5% ho gaya. So, 
uh, these these stocks would uh, uh, mostly if you are more interested in like swingo positional ki you know theek hai 5 6% uh, stop loss deke 25 20 30 even if it takes a couple of uh, days or weeks i am fine so i am not in that kind of mood right now uh, that positional mood is only for now mostly for my uh, 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 indices trade you know so syncom again this is slightly uh, extended from 10 Uh, so i will not be very interested in this guy so niit now this is a name where i can form a bias towards having a possible pba pbc tomorrow so if you see yesterday and today the volumes are really really low and we know that niit is a stock which is uh, currently these uh, this ye uh, this 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 learning it it sort of companies are all doing well okay and uh, we also know that uh, there is some very big investors also entered here and after that it's flagging so now yahan pe 10 pe nahi aaya yahan pe 10 pe aa gaya so if you if you can take a bet one can actually have a gtt above this okay so morning pe before even market opens you on uh, after 907 you already see ki niit mein kaisa uh, uh, start hai so if it already pre market mein it's above 2 2% up or so then you be ready in the first minute if it shows like a, a, a very bullish uh, a uh, strong action then you can actually enter on that bullish action itself just make sure that you have a stop loss tight sometimes waiting for one or two three candle is also good because at that time again it makes a, a tight area and then and then you know uh, things uh, go so these are the things uh, 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 one can see so for example niit may i can now see that there is probable pba pbc kind of setup akash would you wait for uh, the 10 minute data Uh, NIT. Yeah. Yes, so so it has caught up, right? Ten is caught up. Okay, so for some reason, <laughs> for me it shows a little extended. No, no, That's no. Right. The ten is caught up, man. Oh, maybe hmm. you are you are using EMA or um, so minus. Yeah, I, I use the EMA. Ha, minus ten SMA and twenty one is EMA. Right. So again, it doesn't doesn't make much of a difference, I would say. So in general, what people use is nine EMA, and they use ten SMA. So both of them will ah, show similar. Okay. Uh, this one. Okay. Right. um so ndr is not so great so goldium to mai pagal hi ho gaya hu so like fourth fourth time today but again as long as you are you are losing less then 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 you don't care like theek hai le jao point to point to point to le jao you just need one trade to go which will give you one or two or trade and like sabka hisab ho jayega hai na um more pain lab is again now coming to 10 so every time it is coming to 10 it is sort of bouncing so whenever it comes there then uh, i mean it's setting up uh but it's still like slightly uh, above 10 so i am not interested there uh so indra press so you can see this today would have been a good uh, pba entry because uh does not even touch the 10 okay has some sort of problem with the 10 so it just comes very close and then bounces very close and then bounces very close yesterday today it bounces possibly a strong start as well in the morning so although it hasn't moved uh, uh Uh, uh just move 3.8% but i have a bullish bias uh, and let's say market conditions are also now better so this can go shoot and it has 20% okay so imagine if you get 20% with like a 2% stop loss here that's it uh, that will finance five of your losing trades going forward edel wise i am very interested in this stock now you know why comes from uh, a very strong sector which is right now working okay that's that that is also a very key important thing like go at go to sectors which are working and see this is perfect like almost perfect i would say huge bullish uh, flag with huge volumes and people are also taking this home as delivery you know they are not like just day trading of course uh, there will be a lot of a uh, lot of volumes which are intraday but a lot of volumes are also mo- uh, like you know uh, also delivery volumes and whenever it is uh, uh, coming uh, back pulling back the volumes are uh, uh, less and less less and less here and today is interesting today volume there was volume and price sort of did not how i would read it or how one should read it is price did not fall back fall down okay so that means this is an a1 setup for tomorrow so if you really Because don't sorry, yes just quickly on the 25 minute mm-hmm. this would be what like a maybe 115 116 bucks is a good breakout sort of an entry yeah yeah so for example here you see so um, see uh, 
Um, so right now we still are at like you know lower highs. We are still making lower highs. So the moment it crosses this high, is a change of trend. Okay, so that would be your your PVC entry. That would be your confirmation of confirm confirmed entry. Ki abhi trend change ho gaya. So let's say tomorrow uh, the price action happens something like this. So uh, so यहाँ पे आके यहाँ से मंडरा रहा है around previous lows. Okay. and then and then whatever the first bullish candle you can you can uh, if you buy that that would be a pba entry now you are anticipating at around the support that this guy will now move up the, in that case you will still get even lower uh, at this one and why that kind of an entry is suitable because there is a clear low uh, higher higher lows formation you know so this was this low was higher than previous low the next low was again uh, higher than the previous low so the bias is towards the positive and uh, yeah so 116 uh, sort of like 2 3 would be would be a good entry and if you manage to get that you will have like sort of 3.4% uh 4 rupees kind of a stop loss like but but for example let's say let's say tomorrow there is a strong start mane aaj yahan pe 114 pe close hua let's say kal subah 114.95 pe khul raha hai hai na and you already will know that because 9 907 tak that data comes out and so if you manage then to get an entry very near to the pivot let's say for example you get an entry like 116.8 then you can use low of that first uh, uh, candle to get even lesser stop loss now the problem is sometimes the bias is that are itna itna i have put the stop loss so near ye trigger ho gaya to so that's what happened if things are strong it will running horses don't come back uh, probably when uh, wenger mentor probably at the previous uh, levels but uh, you know you will you will you will find <coughs> uh, ways to and find ways to de risk at that time if you are not very sure so in my opinion edel wise is a very strong stock okay uh, worthy of a of a pba pvc sort of an entry all right um, moving on Uh, so gokul agro uh, very strong uh, this this uh, oils edible oils are very strong apparently and so every time it hits the 1021 somehow like uh, uh, i am not uh, very much uh, i mean i don't know i don't like the name or something like i i don't um, i i'm not very attracted to gokul agro uh, uh geojit now this is again another so so you can see that uh, somehow i am leaning towards this uh, financial uh, name so edelweiss um the other one uh, and geojit finance again these are like very, very so this is again similar to edelweiss this would also be an a1 setup so the moment tomorrow if a breakout comes above uh, today's uh, high that is that is go for me okay now previously kab hua ye is din hua tha and if that happen then you probably would have taken a very small stop loss but that that day was also not very ready because it was still extended from the 10 so i i sort of like 10 um yeah uh, maybe i'm biased but now i feel it's more ready right uh, godfrey philips today i made i uh, unsuccessfully traded this but took a very small stop loss like 0.2% of my pf again why because yesterday it hit the 10 previously 10 se bounce aaya tha and so if i sh show you exactly what i saw i would uh, i would probably have gone ha uh, got try so this was in this list so once it clipped me mere ko dekhna hi nahi hai isko niche bhej diya maine so on 3 minutes uh, got try uh where is it okay this is still in 25 right so So if you go to three minutes, uh, generally whenever I uh, uh, trade on intraday time frame, three minute is something which I really like. So, huh? So here was this. So Godfrey was a strong start today. Uh, it opened uh, strongly, then thoda sa niche gaya, and then had an up move. So after that, what happens? Then uh, I I clip this. This was actually a, a a wrong trade for me because when I anticipated it was still below the daily A V W. Daily A V W ke niche generally things don't don't go sour. So this was this was a wrong trade but how i said myself ki uh, isko le lenge uh, so i probably entered here uh, on on this on this sort of candle uh, i was like okay ye abhi aayega and isko break out dega right um, and then my my stop loss would have been somewhere here like very close very close um, 
could have been somewhere below this. And uh, so 0.53 kind of a, a, a 0.53 uh, very small stop loss. So uh, eventually it hit, I think, on, on this uh, candle. So, but uh, Godfrey is still okay, okay. In uh, uh, look, if you look uh, at Godfrey on the 25 minute time frame, so what, what you, I can read right now is that uh, it hasn't still gone past previous low, you know, which was yesterday slow. And there is, a, there is a high chance that it can now bounce back. So can we anticipate an entry, can we make an entry here anticipating that the bounce will come? The answer is yes, because on a daily chart it looks uh, at a quite lucrative uh, phase. So if that is the case, then maximum you are getting minus 1% stop losses. Let's say tomorrow there is a strong start and below the candle will have even smaller stop loss, right? So that's how we, uh, that's the edge basically, like chota sa loss karo and uh, uh, take uh, some some R multiple of gain. So I would say Godfrey is still a, a good one. So um, again, uh, it's a strong strong stock. I don't know about sector and all, but uh, uh, very strong stock. Maxa uh, extended. Bhageria would be like, this would be the, again, let's not. Uh, huh. So RPSG is again a name which one could uh, use as a PBC. Uh, here I would prefer PBC, why not PBA, is because uh, in general, in general, the strong stock would five to six days ke under, it should give a, this one. So it did not bounce from the 10. That means that thoda or hai is may like a uh, 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 little bit, little bit not so strong, right? So that is why I would want confirmation from this guy. So I would slightly not uh, anticipate here because somehow in my mind, I think the probability of uh, uh, anticipation working is not good. But having said that, this is a very good setup. So this is all you require, like a very strong pole, uh, volumes on the pole, insane volumes, in fact. And then uh, 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 again, there is no contraction here because every day uh, the range is similar, similar. But volumes are contracting. So this is another thing. And uh, yeah, so this would also be uh, something uh, to look forward to. Ramrat. Now this is another peak setup, you know? So same thing. So this is this is every this is the thing you have to repeat. Like very nice uh, one-sided up move. The moment this thing is taken out, six twenty point two is taken out. You have to just go in. Okay. Um, so this is like three days tight. And this is extreme extreme tightness. Extreme tightness with every day the volume's been decreasing. If you see, extreme tightness this much volume, next day even low volumes, next day even low volumes. So volumes cannot go to zero or minus, okay? Uh, so at some point of time, because the supply supply demand is so thin now, even a little bit of demand will take it. And of course, little bit of supply can also take it down. But for that, you have your stop loss. <sighs> All right. Same thing with PCBL. This is extreme tightness, okay? So probably if you were like very, uh, uh, very particular about Mereko Ekdam, Uspei Chahiye, to probably today would have flipped you uh, and you would have stuck here. But but having said that, this is still, the, the low of the day is still a good stop loss to still be in this trade. Um, PGEL uh, extended right now slightly. Kothari Petro, again, you can see that this is something which probably is now more suitable for PBA, PBC. Every time, this is a 1021 surfer. 1021 surfer. Every time it clips the 2021 and moves up. So, similar kind of stuff. Is how happening. important is, sorry, just huh. quickly, how important is the previous day's close? Now, on Kothari, you got a really nice long lower wick, which yes. probably means like there's some buying that came in. Yes. Do we take that as a positive sign? Yes, yes, yes. To, yes. Okay. Take as many positive signs to bias yourself. Okay. And uh, this is actually a, a good bias to have. So uh, many people also use this as a setup. Like, uh, in fact, if there is no lower wick, they will not uh, buy it. So this is actually a very good sign, okay. Uh, Globus, uh, similarly here, you can see that it clipped uh, the 10 and then boom. Next day, thoda rukna pada, similar to my SMS pharma trade. Um, uh, and then this came and then probably a couple of days more and then it will it will again go right so again alcohols are uh, the the flavor of the market right now 
So that's how you bias uh, your setups. Uh, JG came today would probably have been an entry, valid entry, and uh, the actual move could come tomorrow. Okay. IIFL securities. This was a very good PBC entry today, to be really honest with you. So this also coming from the same sector, like uh, I don't know exactly if they're from same sector, but Sunneme, Edelweiss, and uh, the other one. Sorry, I have a question. Huh. So I would I'd been watching this, and I would have uh, you know the low of the day just kept changing. This thing had like a nice range, so it became too wide for me. I wanted. Huh. To so so you can see, uh, you can you can always use a intraday uh, pivot for yourself, right? Uh, so, for example, the entry would have been if you are trading a breakout uh, or change of trend. So, you know, lower highs, lower highs, and then this was the previous high. And so on somewhere around this candle, you would get a you would get a entry. Right. Or maybe uh, this one was like a more uh, 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 this, this entry. So if if you still if you still like this and just because the low of the day is a little wider, uh, if you really like it, then you can actually go below the uh, breakout candle. That might not be the best thing to do uh, all the time, um, but it is it is the give and take you have to do, right? So, chalo, low of the day thoda lamba ho gaya to kya hua, hai na? So you can, aisa nahi hai ki aapko low of the day hi rakhna hai. So if the, if the setup is sort of good, um, you can you can choose to uh, uh, use. Uh, low of the entry uh, candle as well uh, this looks to me like a very good uh, this one now now it could happen that tomorrow uh, it might you know do something like this uh, yeah but but that's the there's a chance you have to take I think today was a valid uh, buy okay let's let's see what happens tomorrow yeah so uh, do you see uh, the change in uh, uh, bags as a, uh, you know, as a good thing or a bad thing? Like if, if the trades change from 20 to 10, is it a bad thing and will you stop? Like react accordingly or is this just my bias? Um, see, I, I, uh, see, whenever... I, I will be making things up in my head and telling you. I don't have a very good answer to that. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, some people have questions. Then uh, I'll quickly take Neha. Um, you have a question? Hi, Prakash. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but can you be a little louder? Maybe uh, move closer your, to your mic. Um, you are not very audible, but uh, I'll repeat your question. Um, if I have understood it correctly, you are asking me what is the in the time frame of my intraday charts, right? Yes, the, even the scanner of the intraday and Okay, so I generally use twenty five minutes. Um, uh, if I use uh, less than that, then I also have some sort of intraday bias to my trade, which, which to be frank, uh, uh, currently I do have. So to get more better entries, I go at three minutes. Uh, but, but if you are not someone who are adept at doing that, I would uh, suggest you 25 minutes say come na na jaiyega. 25 minutes also gives you a good enough, you know, a reading of the chart. Okay, about a VWAP. A VWAP, you will find it here. So it's not on indicator, okay? Many people go and search on indicator. If you just go here, one, two, three, four, five. In the fifth one, projections, you see that long, short, forecast, uh, and then you see volume base. So this anchored VWAP is the this one. And in anchored VWAP, you don't need any settings. You just pick the anchored VWAP, which is here and put it wherever you want to anchor it. So if I want to anchor it uh, here, th this is the AV web, okay? And generally what I do is I anchor it on the day, day ka uh, first uh, candle. So for example, uh, on Kanye, 
this day ka first candle is where i've anchored and uh, because i have an intraday bias i uh, i look at the third three minutes chart and this is what i also been posting today so this was the daily uh, this one there was a strong start here 2.4 percent move uh, on the open and then there was a tight area i got in here but after that the first any strong stock whenever AVWAP meets the price after pullback so this is also a pbc pba kind of an entry here because the only difference here is that instead of moving averages on the intraday time frame i'm looking at the vwap okay no you just have to put on the candle okay so if i take this and put it on top this would be my uh, this would be my uh, uh, resistance so whenever it closes uh, constructively on the resistance probably on on this candle that would be end. and then again they again on a strong stock it will act as a support 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 okay and then if you see uh, i i got out here somewhere because that was the time when so this was a this was a uh, this was a distribution heavy base okay stage analysis also works in all time frames so you can see that this one was huge, uh, thoda zyada volume uh, selling then here it could not go up so i had a i was i i was ready to trade this breakout as well because i thought ki 12% chala gaya ye 20% marne wala hai but uh, that did not come and then we had more distribution here so in general when this kind of a pullback happens the volume should not be higher whereas in this case red volumes were very high then then i had to move my stop so my stop was somewhere here and uh, i did not like this so there was a very high chance that this could have again given up all the gains so i had my stop here and i got clipped uh, uh, somewhere here and the relative strength also was khatam ho gaya us time so yeah so so this is how you use vwap again this will not work all the time but it just keeps you in the right direction more often than not and you can see that this base versus this base you can clearly see the difference in volumes in this base you have very less volumes with with high uh, selling volumes okay so price action reading is always the key and then comes the indicators okay i hope i answered your question okay teacher this is that for 25 minutes and it does not give any sense there uh you can put it in any uh, like monthly chart also doesn't matter so for example this is this is nifty 50s monthly chart you can also put it here so this is nifty 50 monthly chart i'll put avwap at the at the this one or some point of time this might even come back uh, again this is like too much uh but it it makes sense so for example i'll show you one very good example ofss this is a uh, so so here i'll show you how i used avwap to you know uh, uh, say that this is a very good support moving average ko chupa dete hain and uh, offs gave a very distinctly uh, you know a good entry on this candle because there's a huge gap up and uh, if you put a avwap on that day breakout day you can see where avwap came and supported okay so 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 avwap just like any other thing in market is also fractal it will work in any time frame so support second support and then bam so fir uh, uh, relay race ke jaise wo beaten pass hota hai similarly avwap ke uh, touches ke bhi beaten pass hote hai so yahan pe agar daloge to yahan pe fir pass hua so this avwap now is supporting here now then what you do is you put a avwap here that will support the other lows and this thing goes on and on so uh, this is very useful for target trading also if you need to yes yes you can use this as your uh, uh, tsls as well got to thank you prakash you're welcome all right folks uh i think we can stop here uh if you guys have more questions i will take them only five people good okay so one last question sure uh, can we have a look at 
Balu Forge. Hmm. My entry was when uh, the circuit changed. Uh, here. Yeah, at the breakout. So let's say somewhere here. Correct. So again, the stop loss was uh, low today. Uh -huh. I booked. Actually, uh, this is the first mistake I made. I booked only half quantity uh, at two hour. Uh -huh. And then I let this slide uh, and again. Um, Maybe I've made a mistake. This is again a pattern. This is actually uh, what this way that they call is actually like closed. Uh, I, my stop loss was the uh, 10 SMA. Uh -huh. The moment it came today, I got out. Uh -huh. So, yeah, so that is the problem I have with using MA as stop losses, okay? Because you can see uh, it doesn't make much sense because you know that price clips the MA sometimes and uh, so that is why just putting directly on MA is a slightly difficult thing to do, you know, because here maybe you saw it clip. So uh, if you really want to uh, put uh, stop losses, I would always go with uh, a structural stop loss. Okay. So you see, I was also in this trade. Uh, I'm not sure where I entered or whatever, but um, I'm pretty sure. You entered at 828, you exited at 832. Huh. Uh, the trailing was 832, right? Yeah, so trailing was somewhere here. Uh, hold on, yes, I remember now. So I entered somewhere here only, I think. And then I sold some here because I wanted to... Uh, I sold some here, actually. Uh, I entered already here somewhere, sold some here. And when this was happening, I again entered here. Whatever quantity I sold because I saw some uh, support. And uh, possibly uh, this was my stop loss if I remember correctly and uh, it got clipped somewhere here I think uh, but you can see that why I put this as stop loss because this is a structural stop loss right again even in structural stop loss the uh, mistake uh, many of us do is put exactly on the low so if this is like low is uh, 837 you can't put it exactly on 837 they will hunt you right so may, generally uh, the, the kind of rule I have is like at least 0.5% uh, uh, below that. Sort of that's slightly safer. So um, and, then, and then it sort of fell. But now it's again uh, probably s will set up because there is some sort of uh, there is some sort of uh, trend line here where se support leke ja raha hai. And hopefully it will build a tight area here. Let's say if it builds a tight area um, and uh, some some sort of an ascending kind of a pattern and then we can either either anticipate somewhere here or trade the breakout. Okay, I will stop here. Um, uh, Shivam, Neha, you guys have more questions? Uh, no, Prakash. Okay. I'll... Shivam, you have a question? Yeah, actually, so basically I understood what you were trying to say. Mm -hmm. But then my uh, problem is like uh, even today I took a trade uh, in... Okay, what was that? Um, it was a trade, so but uh, I missed my stop loss because I wasn't uh, on my system. So in this PBA, PVC, if I get into a trade, mm -hmm. to me, uh, setting up a target will be difficult. So, like, I can put SL in my system. Mm -hmm. uh, probably I can just uh, put an alert because I don't put a GTD. I might put an alert on my trading view. But then putting a target is something I don't, I'm not sure. Like, how will I do it? So, do you not know how to technically put a target or do you uh, not know where to put a target? Uh, I'm not sure where to put the target in uh, PB and PVC. Sure. So let's discuss one example. Can you tell me which stock did you trade today? Uh, this was uh, just a second. Oswal, uh, this Oswal Green Tech.
So first of all, uh, Oswald Green Tech uh, is n- is like not a very strong uh, stock uh, for mm. me to do a swing trade. Okay, it is a it is a it is a really nice positional play because if you see, it is coming from in the uh, it, 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 this is a big base and it's big base ka right uh, uh, right side of the big base. Now. A good entry would would be above this base, and that would be from a positional point of view. Okay, um, that is just my take. Uh, I'm not okay. saying that that is the correct way. Now, if you entered uh, above this, uh, my question would be: Why did you enter above this? Because because it's a big base. The 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 better pivot would be here. You know. Or so here. basically, my entry was a uh, kind of a cheat entry because there was an inside bar, and when that inside bar and the mother bar was uh, crossed, uh, like the price crossed that mother bar's price, mm-hmm. that time I entered. Okay, so okay, valid point. But for example, those kind of entries would make more sense in a stock which is, which is like this, you know, which is uh, already on a uptrend and then making the first pullback. Okay. Then let's say in th- in this area there is like a mother bar or whatever, like for example, one example of that would be, uh, you see this, mm. your entry, your mother bar, whatever entry, uh, tightness breakout entry, which is would be more suitable here because this is more of a setup. You have a prior uptrend, then. Uh, pull back and then again trying to go up. Oswald Green doesn't qualify for that setup. This is a this is a this is a positional setup because this is a huge base, huge base. O'Neill pivot ke uh, pass entry. That means you are a big fan of small. And is where should I put a stop loss? Oh, sorry, a target. Now target setting is very easy. If you are a swing trader, the only thing you need to get out of your trade is if you have to at least get two two times whatever you are risking okay so if if your uh, if you had an entry here for example and then you had a stop loss of let's say whatever this is 7% then 14% or so should be your stop loss in my opinion but okay. Prakash, Prakash, mm. sorry to interrupt, but no problem. My no. whole point is like uh, the pro- setup that you explained, like PBC, PBA. Uh-huh. Now, if I enter in PBC and PBA, uh-huh. so how will I manage my targets? So, you see, I, I can't just look at the screen all the time. So, yes. I can put an alert for the uh, SL, but uh-huh. I don't know where to put the alert for the target. Like, no, the, you can put an alert for PBA. the target. You can put an ad- entry for the target. You can put a GTT like sell the, order, yeah. But where, where, uh, like, where will I put GTT for a PBA and PBC? Like, uh, you know, two times your risk. Okay, fair. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So that is why. Like yeah. So okay. that is why. Uh, that is why always. Uh, uh, you, first of all, the the stock selection was uh, setup selection was slightly not good. And uh, the the yeah two times your risk is a good enough place to be right in okay. the minimum. Okay, so I'll, I'll have to put a GDT uh, in case if I'm uh, going for PB and PBC. That's the best way to go forward. In, yes. Uh, See, st- stop loss though you definitely have to put right because we are a swing trader. We will not. Hmm. We don't want to. We don't want to hold things uh, like minus ten percent or so. And if you if you like for example it's easy for me to not put a target because most of the time i'm looking at this screen right mm. um, but if i'm not then because my tar- my st- uh, my stop losses are always like two percent or so so for example let's say sms pharma if i would have traded today no, let's get a better example so goldium my stop loss is like very narrow right now okay so Right now, my stop loss is like very narrow, 1.5% or, uh, or so. Ayo, just give me a minute. So I entered today somewhere here. Uh, and uh, my stop loss would be somewhere here. So let's say 2.85 is my stop loss. I at least want sort of 6% move from this guy. 
okay okay so if you if you uh, want then you can put a gtt here Okay. 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 That is fair. Either I put a GTD or I put a what do you call uh, alert on a on the. Yes. Yes. That is fair. Okay. Yeah. So that's the thing. I don't put GTDs in the system. I put alerts so that you know I can uh, trail. So that is better if I hmm. put a alert. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah. In general, uh, two R is decent for you know swing trail. Okay, guys. Um, so I'll stop right here, and uh, and uh, see you soon. Then tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care.